Hello my amigos and welcome to Let's Play Tropico. We're going to start a new game here. Go into a random map. We're not going to do campaign. And we're going to keep it on um, the middle. Should be good enough. Population will do... Oh, that's starting population. Okay, well we'll just... Is it harder? We'll put it in the middle for each thing. And then we're going to level this out. I don't want. Oh shit! There we go. We have a really big map, and we're gonna have no hills. So the difficulty is 38%. Uh, this is just a let's play. I'm not gonna have it like a real big challenge, but just to show you the game of Tropico. Okay, let's begin. Okay, political stability, half half random events, no game length, open ended. Um. Actually, I'm trying to think of what what we can do here. Seventy years. We start like the fifties, so seventy. Yeah, that should be good enough. We're going to just make the place happy and no special circumstance so we'll rule for 70 years which is plenty good and let's see um just gonna choose the one then take their shit and edit it okay what we got here we got let's do self-made man rise to power Let's do family values, qualities, hard working. Yeah, that's good. Flaws, flatulence. I don't want that. I don't want moronic. Uh, cheapskate makes things cheaper, so why not? But you can't pay your workers more than 25 bucks an hour, so pretty cheap about that. Um, ugly? Fuck, what was that? Coward? What are you, coward? Summary, I'm a cheapskate coward who's hardworking, self-made man, blah blah blah. Alright, that's good enough. And, to get the mouse out of the way, here is Tropico. Loading. And this is the first one. It's on the uh, second one is the Pirate Bay, so it has like a pirate theme to it, which I never really liked. And the third one is the newest one. It's like in 3D game engine. So this is where you can pause your game. We're just gonna pause it and look around, and see what we got here. We got a pretty decent map. Um, each corn farm can feed up to 30 people. So right now we have 50, so we only need about two of them. So depending on what, you can go into the eye thing and look and see what we got available. Corn is pretty much, pretty much everywhere. Yeah, we got corn everywhere. But each one sells for different. Corn sells for about 400 bucks a crate or whatever this sell them in a sack. And pineapples are really good. They're like I think 900. Coffee is very rare in this game. I never really get coffee, but coffee is pretty good. Which what we really want is tobacco, which we can get from right here. Let's look. Yeah, we'll get tobacco here. Okay, tobacco there. Um. Yeah, you can see tobacco sells for thousand one hundred. Banana eight eighty. Papaya six sixty. Sugar eight eighty. Coffee is really good. Pineapple nine ninety and corn four forty. Um, it's a bit higher because my guy is um, some entrepreneurial thing where it, it'll like increase the value by 10%, which is really good because this is be all my money right now until like 10 more years. So we're gonna do tobacco. Um, how's tobacco here? We can get some tobacco. How's the sugar? What, what sugar at? 880. 
How's the pineapple? Pineapple's good. Okay, we get some pineapple going. We'll get pineapple here too. Corn's plenty good, but people can eat pineapple too. And pineapple's almost, you know, double the price to sell. So we'll leave those two at corn. And let's build some houses. Um, housing and industry, farms, mines, tourist attractions, uh, some entertainment, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do some tenements. So this is a cheap ghetto where the farmers can stay in. So we're going to put it right above these shacks so they get the hell out of them and get the idea that we're moving. We'll put one for now. And construction looks good. We'll give a little raise so we can get more people. Teamsters are the guys that take the shit here and they put it on the docks and sell it. The dock guys run the dock, really. Um put a bunkhouse I think actually we'll just wait we'll just speed that up put this on this is the priority level the higher you have it the faster they'll build it like they'll put this before something else that has a lower priority so if you want something built really fast they gotta put it on the highest priority at level 3 and they're going to level up the ground first and then they're going to build it so they're gonna fix that shit and if you build something on trees it takes like twice as long because they gotta you know I, I, I cut down the trees clear the area and then start building so corn farms look good tobacco looks good we got some pretty good pineapples here that would be a good export let's let's take a look at the mine situation I put it on half so we should have at least something close by to us Okay, we got some decent mines close by. What's my tourist attraction? Do I get a tourist attraction here? I get nothing. I get no special museum or ruin or mine shit. Alright, well, we got, we got some iron, we got bauxite, we get no, we got some gold out here. We'll do some... Bauxite's way the fuck over here. So we're going to wait on that. We're going to do some lumber mills. Logging camp, I mean. And this is um, the basis of your economy. It's a really cheap way to get some money. And of course, to clear out the trees. So we're going to we'll put a right here. And speed it up. Put on high priority too. Actually, we'll do that second. This needs to be done first. Um, you can charge free for tenements. That's what I usually do. But since as my farmers get paid like five bucks per month, they can afford to pay a dollar per rent. And the rule is that no one, no, no worker will pay more than a third of their wage for rent. So if it's three or more, they won't pay it. Okay, we got some shacks. You want to get rid of these shacks, shanties, as soon as you can. Okay, we got five people from the boat. They they come off the boat, and I'll give you a close up what they look like. This is your informe. This just tells you what happened during the year. Um, skyrocketed. I'm not doing the Swiss bank account. Actually, I should do that. Well, we'll see. You, it's kind of like a savings account. You just save away your money until you're retired. So, and look at the score. Final score, 33. And look at the happiness. One unhappy. Okay. Well, too bad. You can see him. Click on him. Hey. He is not even educated. Pretty average. He's gonna be a teamster. Right, well, we need to. Is that tenement built yet? What the fuck's taking so long? Sixty, sixty-three. Okay. Well, I think I want to build two tenements. Maybe. 
probably put one up right over here. I really don't have the money, really. Okay, that one's built. People will start moving in. And let's go build this logging camp. We can get some loggers. Make some moolah. The soundtrack in the game is spot on. It's very good. Oh, we do have some ruins. Some Maya ruins. I was looking for that. Okay, how's that tobacco? Looks good. Oh, score went down by two points. Actually, was it 36? I can't remember. Okay, well, let's see what our profits are. Farming is our profit. We got four and eight help. That's where you get some money if you're if your country's really poor, like the U.S. or Russia will send you some dough, some financial aid. Okay. And you want to pay your military guys a lot of money to keep them happy. Let's fix this logging camp. Come on now. You can get a fisherman wharf. This will get some more food for your people and you can sell them too. Put one right there. Okay, we got a 1500. I'm just going to leave it right there for now. And we're exporting some stuff right now. You can see how the Teamster guys just take it. And they just drop it off in the ship, the freight, to be exported. We got a lot of money. We got 14k. Alright. We can do some work here. Okay, we'll have the Teamster guys sleep in bunk houses for now. Okay, I should take care of these shacks right here. We'll put a second tenement close to the farms. That's good enough. We'll put some more farms down. And pineapples. Coffee, no coffee of course. Sugar. A lot of sugar. Okay. Score 34. Okay, the score is dropping dramatically, so we got to build some shit real quick. Okay, we'll put this in the red area so we can uh, save the green to farm on. Okay, that logging camp's done. Give them a little pay raise to get some more people. And they probably want some entertainment. We'll get a pub going. Let's make a little walkway. The pub right, right next door to you live. We'll put the pub in the center. We'll get a restaurant too. Right on the water. Perfect. Okay. Um, you don't really need roads because the people walk wherever they want depending on if they don't have roads or not. Um, banks are really good because you build these and make your uh, buildings cost I think like 20% less. So it's very good. And the bunkhouses are being used. See how the shack is demolished because they're moving into the bunkhouses. So we'll get our Teamster guys to move in there. We'll charge the same as the tenement. And the pub, we'll drop down the price to three, raise that a little bit. And let's see what we got. We need a church. Well, six grand for a church. What is it, trimmed in gold? We're going to put it, oops, score, 17, okay. Let's check the economy. We got... 
or check the economy on the next part. So I'll see you in the next one.